Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Pepper Baker. Breaking news right now at 10. Two police officers, both in critical condition at Regional 1. We also know a suspect was shot and is also in critical condition. Now, it all happened near Rains Road and Feronia Road as officers were responding to a call for an armed person. Now, this is a look at the scene earlier tonight. Those two officers and the suspect put, the, put into ambulances and rushed to Regional 1. Our crew on the scene says they both appeared to be alert upon arrival. Now all of this playing out in a very busy part of the Whitehaven neighborhood, and that's where our Zaria Oates is live at the scene of this breaking situation. Zaria, what have you seen? Pepper, when we got here just over an hour ago, as I was coming up this way from the highway, every single road you can think of that's connected to rains was actually blocked off with caution tape, most of it yellow. But as you can see, we've gotten a little bit closer to where we believe that crime scene actually happened. And there's some red tape up at these apartments behind me. Um, we do know the name of one of the apartment complexes, but either way, if you live in either of these two apartment complexes, it's a little bit difficult to get to them. Now, I'm going to step out of the way so you can see a little bit of the police presence that's still out here. We have seen quite a few officers make their way away from the crime scene. It seems as though they're kind of cleaning up and getting ready to um, reconvene at another location. We do know that the mobile command unit is on site somewhere in the multiple streets that are blocked off. We also know that the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations is here. They're on the scene of the crime over there near those apartment complexes. Another thing we want to let you know is that Chief Davis has made a statement, as you've probably seen that statement so far. Um, Sheriff Floyd Bonner has also made a statement. But as far as what we know right now is that this crime happened somewhere in this area and that they're not letting anyone in or out despite leaving some of the scene a little bit. Some of those MPD officers making their way either back to the station or back to their postings. But Pepper, for right now, we're getting as close as we can. We're getting as much information as we can on the scene here live. I'm Zaria Oates. Zaria.